What is photography is a portrait and interview series where we talk to as many different people as we could across the photography community and ask them this question of what is photography. It's really a portrait project is what it is, but to gather the best and brightest minds in the photo business, at least the ones that were available to come, <laughs> kind of create a little community, uh, you know, with b &H at the center, obviously, but at least the organizing factor, and ask them this question, get their responses, organize that together, and then with that, we have a general sense of what photography is at this time and place. I think a lot of artists working with photography think about this question. I think it's true also of curators and anybody that's working in the field has to ask themselves, I mean, what is photography at some point to wonder what we're doing, you know? So it's one of these mediums that's kind of constantly evolving. And part of this project too was figuring out uh, where it is today and how that relates to the history of photography. We had the idea of a portrait series for us. We wanted to create some kind of visual content. You know, we do a lot of things about photography. So we wanted to do something that is photography. We thought, well, who would we make portraits of? Who would people want to see portraits of um, as our viewers on Explorer for B&H? And we thought, of course, people in the photography community. The question is important to me personally, but also in a broader perspective. So really the project was less about what I think photography is and more about finding out what other people think it is and sort of seeing the breadth of uh, photographic practice today. When, when people are with you and they see what's going on, they open up a little bit. And when that happened, usually at the end of a portrait session, we would say, hey, anyone else you might want to recommend for this project? And almost everybody offered three or four names. And we reached out to them. And, and if they were available and we felt the work fit and we respected and liked their work, we asked them to be involved. If they agreed, they were in. It was important for me uh, as the photographer to come up with some sort of uniformity in the aesthetic with what we were doing. And because we were shooting over the course of several months, of course, one, the lighting's changing, the people are changing. We wanted to make sure that each portrait sort of reflected the person that we were shooting. So there were going to be different portraits. So we had to hold something constant in this project. And uh, what we ended up doing in order to keep some semblance of uniformity is we shot every image in the same location. So we used the Penumbra Foundation's Highlight Studios, which is a natural light studio in Midtown. North facing light, beautiful light, gorgeous space to shoot in. We got a backdrop from Oliphant Studios, so a hand-painted um, backdrop that we shot, and we made sure to include that in every single shot. And we also decided to go with a monochrome palette. So we took away the color to sort of simplify things and also to keep uh, the images sort of aesthetically unified. There's the practical sense that we wanted a definition of photography. And of course, there is no one definition. And people are reluctant to to offer something like that, I think, because first of all, who knows? I mean, there's so many different definitions, you don't want to get nailed down to any one. We were a little bit worried going in that we might end up getting the same answer over and over again. That was our fear going into this project, but that absolutely wasn't the case. For me, photography is a way to communicate an idea using the space and the time um, that's in your surroundings. And that's kind of what we tried to do with this project with the participants that we brought in. Photography is a, is a lot of hard work. I think for the sake of, of this, that would be my answer. Photography is a lot of work. Hasselblad offered to give us their New York Experience Studio for a pop-up uh, event celebrating this project. And what we're trying to do is bring together as many of the participants as we can um, and show this work um, in physical form because of course it'll have a digital form, but we wanted to show it um, as actual photographs too. The seed for this was over the course of the summer, we would have three or four people per day come in to do the, the, the photo sessions. And we would say, oh, yesterday we had so-and-so, or last week we had so-and-so. And we felt it would be great to get all these people in the same room, you know? So let's have some kind of event at the end uh, to, to celebrate them, to thank the people. And, and why not make an exhibit out of it? And when Hasselblad offered this space, we said, let's do it. One of my aims since joining Explora, and I think I could say this for John as well, working with BNH's podcast, is expanding our audience and reaching out um, and creating content that's beyond just gear reviews and um, tutorials. 
We wanted to engage with the photography community at large in a much wider sense than we've done in the past. And that was really a motivating force in what we were doing. We do a lot of writing about photography. And this is not about photography, this is photography. A lot of great projects started at B&H. I mean, even if it just meant coming in here and buying you know, a memory card or whatever it happened to be, let's remind people that uh, you know, there, there's no photo project without a, without a camera. To find out what photography means to these professionals, check out B&H's Explorer page by clicking the link below.